press the button on the bottom once. Battery indicator will flash. After five seconds, it will be in standby mode and hold this down. And it will now be in working mode. The first mode that it's in is heading and following mode. What that means, notice we've got a clip mount here just for the purpose of the video. As I move from side to side, it follows along the heading. Yep, left to right. But if I go up and down with my mount, however I'm holding it, it remains in the same place. Left to right, it follows. Yep, nice and simple. Now if I press once, it will change mode. Notice, I'm turning left to right, it's not moving. I'm going up and down, it's not moving. It is now in locked mode or locking mode. Heading, pitch, roll are locked. Press once more, goes back to default, heading and follow. Now if I press twice, it will now do the heading, but also, as you can see as I'm moving it up and down, side to side, it smoothly pans for me. Let me show you these two buttons here, up and down. You can adjust the angle. By using those buttons. Can you guess the mode I'm in now? Heading and following mode. Locked mode. So if you lock it into that mode there, but you think, well, I want to be pointing up a bit more. You just press up, down to adjust if you've gone too far, and then wherever you go, it's going nowhere. Once you're in locked mode, up and down, we'll let you do that. One press returns me to heading following mode. Yep. One press back to locked mode. Two press, heading and pitch following. Pitch following is going to follow you when you move up and down. But there's something else that I wanted to show you. Let me power down first. Right, you can see listlessly sits to the side. This port here, if you notice in the unboxing, I mentioned this cable. Now this could be of use to you. What you do is you line up this port with this. It's a little bit tricky, so just be very careful with this. Line it up and slot it in there. Now that will go into USB there. Notice what happens when I switch on. This unit, the Z1 Rider, is now powering my GoPro. So, if you've not got so much battery in your GoPro, but you've got enough in this, there you go. You've got a system to keep your GoPro charged. Turn it off, no longer powering. Just unplug that. Very, very carefully take this out. It's gentle as anything. Get a nail in there and slowly pull it out. And that's that. That's basically how to get started very quickly. Switch it on, as we just did. Wait five seconds, as more or less we have. Hold that down. Kicks it out of standby mode and into heading and following mode. Of course, you can use up and down to adjust. Press once to switch into locked mode. Once to go back to heading and following mode. And twice to go into heading and pitch following mode. Nice and simple. Hope that's been of use. I'm off to give this a play.